Everything trail. Subscribe. This rap fucking society, man. People are just like nervous when it comes to new shit. You you guys went in hard. You, you didn't care about how people are gonna perceive it nah, in the beginning. I didn't want to rap like all of these other rappers is rapping right now with that same cadence. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I can do it. <laughs> 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 it's a hit record right there. <laughs> 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 do, do, do you do you feel that the kids are they, they're just not fucking like uh, I mean what are they stupid or something I don't no, know what is it? What I just is... feel like it's a young man's game okay and one thing about it being a young man's game if you older you have to allow them to do what they do mm. remember when we came out when we was young and we was fly when I was young and they didn't understand me you mm. know they was running over my CDs talking about he's the worst nigga ever created mm. you know what I'm saying but until they understood that this style gonna live forever because it's mine Mm. And nobody could do my style. Now, the ones who creating it going to live forever, but the ones who duplicating going to fall off. And there's a lot of duplicating going on. I hear the same sound mm. a lot. You know it, what I'm saying? Even the mm -hmm. same beat style. A lot. <laughs> and it used to be a time where back in the days you couldn't do that. That was called biting. Mm. If if I took your shit and, and put it on my shit, that's biting. There was no two rappers who rapped the same in the 80s. Mm. There was no two. It was only two rappers that were similar was Dana Dane and Slick Rick. They were similar, but they wasn't the same. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a rap historian. In the 90s, there was no two rappers that rapped the same. Yeah, that biting shit was not going 2000, down. 2000, <laughs> it's 100 niggas that rapped the same. I mean, you, you, I mean, you saw KRS one body fucking, uh, what's his name? He body slammed, uh, what's that guy? PM Dunn? Yeah. <laughs> you remember that shit, right? That yeah, shit. nigga, that's all fast shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm for hip hop, nigga. You already know. <laughs> I represent hip hop, man. I don't understand nothing else but it. But I respect the youngsters. I respect the mm. movement because it's a young man's game. And I've always been like that. That's why they call me Uncle Snoop because I never mm. disrespected them. I've always treated them as my nephews. Even if I didn't like that shit, I never yeah. told them I don't like it. I tell them, look, maybe you should try to be a little bit more original and not oh. follow the fad. Okay. You know, because the fad is only a fad. That rap style is going to play out in a minute. But if it's yours, it's going to live on forever. Just like when T-Pain came out. T-Pain was the shit. Then everybody took his auto-tune. And went with it. Mm -hmm. Now where's T-Pain? He even got a fucking, where's his hair at? He fucking cut his shit off too. Because man. that's what the game do. The game <laughs> suck you dry. It, it, it takes it takes from you. You know what I'm saying? It's like the originals got to understand when you're original, you got to yeah. find ways to, to diversify your portfolio. In other words, meaning that I always come back with some different shit. I'm Snoop Dogg at all times, but... I'm able to do this, that, 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 and that to where it finally comes back to the point to where I started in 1992, it's my 2015, Damn. and I'm still on the radio talking to you about an album I got coming out that's relevant. I'm just so happy I was there when it all started. You, you can't, you, I mean, you have to be there at that moment to, you know, experience that so you can understand what hip hop is. These new kids now, you can't remember what was last year's hit. Nah. Fuck that. So shout out to Kendrick Lamar who, could have done all the hard shit, yeah. but he came out different also That's with he, his last he's album. He's a seed. He's yeah. a seed of of, of great MCs. He's a, a product of it. So he's when we planted the seed, he ended up growing into who he is right now. A lot mm. of times you got great MCs who drop seeds all over the world, and those seeds grew into MCs who are becoming the real MCs, the ones who are going to be here 10 years from now. Man. Everything trail. Subscribe.